Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 online video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your very own red and white cargo bob. So if you do like this video or find the information helpful, please drop a like on the video guys. I would really appreciate it. Let's go for like 3,000, 4,000 likes on this video. I think this is a really cool concept. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Other than that, let's get started. So I'm with my good friend Segma. You can check him out in the description as well as the job to this video. You can create your own or you can click the link in the description, download the job I've created for you. It'll make it a ton easier for you. Now, the only downside to this is it's going to be only in the creator beta tool. Obviously, red cargo bobs are not just floating around the airport. However, because this is a job that you can create, you can invite easily six to seven, 80 of your friends, and it can be just like any other normal free roam. And what you're gonna do is go over to the Deathmatch Creator, and in order to start this, you're gonna go over to uh, Deathmatch Details, Placement, you're gonna select the boat, you're gonna select the marquee, which I believe is this uh, yacht, you're gonna place it in the water, and then double tap A. And what's gonna happen is this cargo bob is gonna come up, this red and white cargo bob. And once you do that, you simply want to place it anywhere on the land uh, I think I put two or three cargo bobs down just for good measure and like I said this instructional part right here is just for the guys on PlayStation and for those of you on Xbox who want to create your own so you can see what I've done right here is I've placed down a few cargo bobs now you'll see these little like triangular exclamation points all of those need to go away before you can save and publish this job. So most of them just require you to put down spawn locations and title and put uh, various parameters around your deathmatch so you can see I've titled mine 11 right here. But anyways, getting into the cargo bob, this is it. You can see it actually looks really nice. The red or the tops and the sides are red and it's got this cream whitish finish around the outside. And you can see this is what the cargo bob looks like and we've set our timer for 10 minutes. You can set it for longer. I'm only in here with one other person. So feel free to do as many other settings as you want. But you can see it looks really cool. This is the cargo bob, looks great. One of the coolest looking uh, vehicle combos I've seen in this game. I wish this is something we could have gotten in the normal campaign or normal GTA Online. But I guess Rockstar uh, just didn't want us to have the ability to modify cargo bob colors like this. But nevertheless, it still looks really cool. It still functions like a regular cargo bob. So if this is something you want to do as far as like role playing or skits or just want another color of cargo bob, this is one way you can do it. So just a reminder, click the link in the description. It'll take you to an Xbox job that I've created. Um, you'll get it off of my social club account. You can download it and you can play it immediately. However, if you want to create your own, Follow the steps in this video. It's a very simple process. It took me maybe about 10 minutes to create, so it's not that bad. And again, I recommend you doing it around Vespucci Beach because you are going to have to drop and click some boat in the water. So you want to be around a body of water. It'll make this a lot easier. So I recommend Vespucci Beach. Other than that, that is the video, guys. Like I said, hopefully you did enjoy. Like I said, if you did find the information helpful, please drop a like on the video, guys. I would really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe to catch all my daily GTA 5 videos and other gaming content. Other than that, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.